Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your Cardboard Concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Tonight the question we're answering is, what's in the box in regards to this beauty? This is Irish Gage from Capstone Games, the new version, updated version of Irish Gage, the first in what's called, they're calling the Iron Rail series. What these are meant to be is a gateway to heavier train games like 18xx games, but not super light, so not as light as the game, say, Chicago Express from Queen Games, something in the middle, is a, a, a gateway to it. So this is the back of the box. I'm not going to waste a lot of time on this. I want to see what's in this box. It's my first time opening this up. No, I have not played this game, though I am really looking forward to trying out Irish Gage from Capstone Games. So I'm just going to cut the shrink off, then we're going to tilt the camera down and take a look at what's inside. All right, here we have the box from for Irish Gage, game by Tom Russell, featuring artwork by Ian O'Toole. Big fans of Ian O'Toole. Very distinctive, very clear, easy-to-see artwork. I expect to see a very easy-to-read game board from Ian, as well as having stuff on the board for tracking very easy-to-reach places. So... It is a nice thin box game, but it does seem tall. Maybe it's just in my head, but it seems taller than most games. Holy cow. Like, I'm sorry. Gateway to 18xx. That's it. That's it. That's the whole rules. Three to five players. Takes about an hour. Get the feel of buying stocks and building routes with a two-sided... I'm impressed. Right there. That's it. Wow. Okay. Now we have the board. This is the kind of thing I expect to see on an 18xx style game. All right, hopefully I can get most of this into the picture. So it's a four panel board, one sided. Um, I gotta say missed opportunity. I would, this, this could have easily been a different map on the back. I realized then it wouldn't be Irish gauge, but that, that would have been a nice touch. But I get it, I am upside down. So we have a map of Ireland. Things listed in British pounds, including three capital cities, a bunch of villages, and some starting cities that are going to be on the board. Um, nice, as I expected, Ian O'Toole. Nice, clear, easy to read. Look at the size of font he chose to use for this. So this is the, the, the cost to build a train. And all you have to worry about in this compared to other train games is if you have clear terrain, if you have difficult terrain, or if you're going to an urban area, which are these spots here. So you have your costs. Up at the top here is a spot where you're going to put your cards for your market shares, which I'm sure we'll get to in a minute in the box. And down here, you have a place just for putting your um, dividends per share for each player. And then this, honestly, is just here to do the math for you. So if you find it difficult to do the math in the game where you have uh, $13 shares being split by three people, you'd be able to look on here for $13... Actually, it goes 12 to 14, so maybe everything's even. And then, oh, no, you round up. So you would round up to 14, and you would look at three players, and everyone would get um, five pounds each. So that's all that's for is for to make the math easier. Um, this also notes some things about to, if you connect on a city, how much they pay, and how much they pay um, if you're, sorry, if you connect on a village or if you connect on a, on a city. Over here, you're going to have a spot where you're going to place your cubes. Um, this is an aspect of the game that tells you what pays out each dividend round. So anyone who's played 18 XX knows all those words, but basically what it means, you're going to connect routes, and then you're going to get paid for connecting routes. But what's interesting in this style of game is you don't own any one train company. Instead, you're going to own stocks in different train companies. And when the dividends pay out, you're going to get paid based on how many stocks you have. Sounds kind of dry and boring. Some people think so. Some people love it. So what we have here, these are the dividend cubes. And I love the color fr blind friendly cubes here. And what's also in here are the little player markers to mark where you are on the dividend track. So there's those. Again, we're looking at color blind fit happy. Like, look at that. Nice, clear, concise, different colors. You've got white, black, and pink. There is going to be no difficulty telling those apart. Um, these are going to go into this bag, which has a nice little iron rail on the cover. I like it. So a little iron rail bag, and then every round, anyone pays dividends, you're going to pull out three cubes, and you'll be like, all right, these only white cities are going to pay out dividends this round. But in a different round, I pull out three, and they're like, okay, all three colors are going to pay out this round, and so on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep out 
I'm going to take these out now just to save myself. Future me will love me for this. I'm going to take these player ones out. And I'm just going to put all the dividend cubes in the bag for now. Then I'm going to slip these back into it. So again, these, sorry, the, I said player, but these aren't player colors. These are the train route colors. Because again, you don't own a specific company. Then we have little tiny trains. And these are really cute. They're a little smaller than I expected. I've, I have a few train games. So we have this. And i got to say they look like something I should put in my cereal. Um, unfortunately, I can't show you the blue ones. I wasn't expecting it to be light blue. So there we go. Little tiny trains. So little wooden train meeple or whatever you want to call them. Treeple. And if you can't see it, you've got to hold it at the right angle. You have a little train engine. So this is to mark the routes that are growing from each different company. Or each of the three... Five different companies? How many companies are we looking at? Two, three, four, yeah, five different companies. So you have five different train companies, and you have colored trains for each of them that are going to get put on that hex map. There's a whole baggie full of these. What I am disappointed to see is no way, except for the ones that came with the components in them, to um, manage any of this stuff. I would have been nice to have some trays or something to put these in, or at least different zip colored zip smaller Ziploc bags to split these into. More importantly, it's going to be these. Once I crack these open, they're just going to end up shifting all over inside the box. It's a little disappointing. See? Just like that. Alright, so the majority of what we have here is money. So instead of having poker chips or paper money, what Capstone has decided to do with this particular train game is give you card money. And I've got to say right now, you can kind of see them slipping everywhere. These are plastic coated um, thin card, fairly thin, like, you know, poker card style card, um, with a glossy finish, double sided, but they are slippery. Like they, I don't know how to, there, you can kind of see how they just, they're slippery. Like, I don't want to put a stack of these on the board because they're just going to fall over. So we have a bunch of tens, fives, um, as it's in Ireland, we're in British pounds at this point. And then of course, once what I do like except for the fact there's pounds on them, is this might be a good replacement stack of money for some other train game or a game like Power Grid that uses paper money. Finally, the last component we have in the game are these shares, these stock shares for each of the different companies in the game. So you have the, um, so these are going to go up in value. I am trying to find the lowest value here. So this company, the purple company, has a $5 stock, so that's the first price. If you're doing an auction for stocks, you have to start at 5 And then once that one's gone, the second stock's going to start at $10, then $15, and $19. Again, this is a pretty standard thing for players of 18xx will recognize this, but it's an escalating price to the stocks in this company. And note, there are only four stocks for this company total, so depending on the number of players you're playing with, they you may, like, not every player is going to have stocks in every company. So then we have the same thing for the other companies in the game, uh, which don't seem to be named, I don't think. Maryland, Great Western, Rathorn, Midland. Yes, they are. So these are named train companies. <laughs> I, I don't know if they're real names of companies. So this is the Waterford, Limerick, and Western Railway. This is the Milford, Great Western Railway. And this one, only there are only three stocks for that company. Then we have the Great Southern and Western Railway, which is a blue stock. Hey, it actually worked on my camera, which there are four stocks. Then we have the Cork, Brandon, and South Coast Railway. Again, probably based on actual railroads. So the other thing to note is these also do... Oh, there's one company that actually only has two stocks. So if you're playing with more than two people, that's going to be a hotly contested one, or someone's going to get both stocks. Um, what it does show here, too, is these are stacked on the board, so it shows you what the other numbers available are. So you always know what stocks are out there or potentially out there. And that's it. That's what you get in the box for Irish Gage. Now I'm going to put this back together. Um, flimsy cardboard insert. I really don't like the fact I'm just tossing these in here loose. Here, this is a little bit, it's better than nothing, it's huge, but I am going to at least toss these into the spare baggie I have around. Just so they're not sliding everywhere. This blows me away. Two pages. Wow. Wow. 
All right, Irish Gage, Capstone Games, the first Iron Rail game. So there you have what you get in the box for Irish Gage, the first Iron Rail game from Capstone Games, meant to be a gateway to heavier train games like 18XX, Age of Steam, Steam, and so on. I am really impressed by the quality in here. I am blown away by the fact the rule book is a single sheet of paper, two-sided. I didn't think there'd be a train game that would be that easy to... Uh, to, it's got to be really succinct rules. This is a full economic train game where you're buying stocks, you're building routes, you're paying out dividends, you're connecting cities, everything you'd expect from a bigger game in a nice small box at a reasonable price point. I, I am really looking forward to playing this. Uh, it looks fantastic. Uh, the E&O tool artwork, which again you can see here on the back, just very clear. No trying to be fancy, no drawing trees and mountains. It's just if it's difficult terrain, you got a green in the middle of the hex. Nice and easy to read. Really looking forward to checking this game out by Tom Russell, featuring artwork by Ian O'Toole, published by Capstone Games. I am O2Zono Tabletop Bellhop. Thank you for joining me for this video. I appreciate you checking out the time, taking the time to check out what you get in the box for Irish Gage. If you're looking for more gaming content, it'd be awesome if you headed over to tabletopbellhop.com. That's our webpage. Or check out the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast on your podcatcher of choice. You can also find me on YouTube, social media, everywhere else on the web as Tabletop Bellhop, one word. That's it for me tonight. I am looking forward to getting this game to the table and letting you know my thoughts, which you will be able to find in the blog once I review the game in full after a few more plays or some plays bunch of plays need to play the game before I can give you a review but for now we got to see what's in the box and I gotta say I'm impressed looks good good night and game on